Hello, this is Doug Walker, and I'm gonna say right now I'm so sorry for all these commentaries. I assure you this is gonna be the last one for a while. Uh, it's just I've been editing the two-year anniversary, so, you know, that gets in the way. And with me... A likely story. And with me, as you probably hear, is my brother... The other guy, Rob. And, yeah, th this is I it, I also people. go by the great one, but... Yeah. Th th this is it, people. This is the worst. This is... It may not though, certainly the film I hate. I, I feel like clerks, like I keep wanting to say, I wasn't even supposed to be here. I'm not. I'm actually supposed to go out drinking. I'm sitting here postponing drinking by a half hour to watch us watching this. This. Rob, you have no idea the dedication that it takes to get you to stop drinking. I understand. How hard actually, it is actually, to do this that. is probably for the better. Because I'm gonna need a drink after this. Yeah, no, that That's actually makes sense. So, no, no, it's just probably better to watch this after you're drunk, while you're drunk, to be honest. So, um, so, um, any fond memories from this film, Doug? None. This is this is the worst. This I've get, never yeah. seen. We get asked at conventions all the time, "What is the worst film you ever did?" And like, we don't even blink. We don't even bat an eye. We just both say, "Garbage Pail Kids." Yeah, together. And, now, and here's the thing: like, people are like, "What about Manos, The Hands of Fate?" That's gotta be the worst film you've ever seen. No, yeah. no, no, no. It's like that's the worst film, but this is the film I hate the most. This doesn't even have the distinction of being the worst. You know, it's like I there was money would, behind it. Yeah, I honestly think that this is the worst film, because I think this actually had a higher budget than Manos, The Hands of Fate. Yeah. So I honestly, I think I'm going to bump Manos now and call this the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. No, it's, uh, without the worst nostalgia critic, probably the worst film. Yeah, what's the point of this spaceship? It, no, <laughs> are they aliens? They never said they were aliens. I think they just saw E.T. and they were just like, oh, we can do that. This is also, but this is the longest review. It's like almost a half hour. I totally don't remember what that bunny Superman was. I don't. I don't remember either. But I, I have blocked large sections of this review from my memory, even watching the film. Oh yeah, the moving. What's the fucking point with the moving? I, God, it's like only a minute in. I'm so angry at this movie. I hate it yeah, so much. They, they would establish all these things. They never did anything with it. What was the What was the point of that? I mean, we we joked about that in um. What was that, that uh, quest for Camelot about the explain things? But I just, we weren't on our A-game probably because this movie completely destroyed us. But we probably should have done it for this. Because like, explain! Oh, yeah, his name's Dodger. And well, yeah, we never understood this. It's like, why? First off, these are the lamest 80s punks I've ever seen in my life. They look like they belong in a jazzercise video. But why, why are they even picking on this kid? Don't they have real thugs to go pick on? <laughs> so this one, like, the kid's not even rich. I mean, there's just no point. It's like, we have decided to pick one boy at random and make his life a living hell. We're badass. <gasps> look at Jane there, or whoever that <laughs> chick is. Oh, have, she, she has the lamp like, coming up. Yeah. They, look like the they look like the village people. No, they look like bad guys out of oh, Double yeah. Dragon. <laughs> Did she do it again? Yeah. <laughs> My fake laugh actually sounds better than her fake laugh. It it sounds like she's struggling, like she's trying to kind of take a crap or something, and she's like, <laughs> I feel sorry for this guy. I get feeling this guy's like a good actor. This guy, I, if the movie was just slightly better, I would have said he was the only thing that could have saved this film. But the film is unsavable. Yeah, he, he can't you, do you it. You can't. You can tell he's really try trying. Like, he's trying to make a good film here, but it's just so awful. Oh, no, he's genuinely pleasant to watch. But the he, problem is... He's trying to put sense to it. And but there is in no the, sense. In, in the story of the plot... There's a plot? Well, there's an attempt at a plot. In, in the story, he's he's just sort of responsible for why these kids are here in this place. So, Even though they never explain why yeah, or how. So, so therefore, I hate him. He can give this beautiful, wonderful performance, but he's responsible for these kids being here, so I hate him. Fargo just came in during Bargo. the worst movie we've ever We're seen. We're watching Garbage Pail Kids. You should come in and watch us with us. I don't understand. This, this commentary is going nowhere. Oh, this piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, here, get get closer. Squat, squat down in between Doug's legs. Sit on his lap. No, actually, I remember Ellis was, um, like, whatever, reinstalling the computer for, like, whatever, the 12th time or something. He saw a little bit of this, uh, of this movie, and he was literally just shaking his head like, wow, I mean, this is a real movie. Like, he couldn't comprehend this was a real movie. No, like, the, the funny released. thing is he turned to us, he's like, is this what you guys do? 
this is what it entails. And we were like, yeah. And he's like, I'm so sorry. Wow. That. He's like, we got to pay you guys more. <laughs> so I, you know what? Yeah. You guys do such hard work. He was like kissing our ass the rest of the meeting because we had to sit through this movie. That's how bad this movie was. I got to say too, when I was a kid, I really wanted to see it. I saw trailers for this movie and I knew the cards. I love the cards. Uh, uh, I was smart. I did not want to see this film. I told and Doug it would be a mistake. But, uh, but I really wanted to see this film and my mom and my kept me away because that was at the time where it's like PG films no that's way too hardcore oh, now like every and, film's PG and just in time for Mother's Day let's just say thank you mom yeah no for thank you so keeping much keeping us away from this film this film this... literally and there's very few films I say it's about this film would have made me dumber it yeah. would not have I, there's nothing to gain from it I would have gotten so I mean not that I'm the brightest cookie right now but I, I, I don't I think I'd be able to talk I felt brain cells dying as I watched this film. And literally, like, if, if when Mike came in, I was, like, sort of getting, like, eaten by the chair. I was just so sunken and low. Like, I was just, like, barely awake. I was just like, ugh. And Doug was just at the computer, like, like typing like he was some sort of slave. And, like, we literally, it just, it wiped us out. We just, we had no energy. None. Just sitting through this film. About halfway through this film, we were just like, ugh. It's actually very exhausting. We it's looked like we had food poisoning. Bargo, what, would you agree? Yes, he's dead. Okay. Thank you, Bargo. <laughs> I think that's all he's going to contribute to. Bargo says did did you ever see this? Uh, I saw the review. I mean, you never saw them. But yeah, the, you know, the review's probably enough. Do they have any personalities? The funny thing is, I look at some of these characters and wonder, are they racist? And then I kind of thought in the middle of the movie, does it matter anymore? No, it, it, uh, this movie obviously offends everybody and yeah. everything. Uh, the nerdy one just pissed his pants. Yeah, Look, that, that's he peed. <laughs> that's hilarious, and and they they do that like three times, because it was so funny the first two times. <laughs> Hideous little things. Look at that. I, I think what drives me nuts about this film too, it, it's not just the fact that it's a bad movie. We've watched plenty of bad movies, and some of them are funny in their own right because they're bad. It's just, this is such an unpleasant movie. It's such an ugly movie. In every meaning of the word, it's ugly. I mean, it's, it's something of an ugly duckling story, I guess, though they have no redeeming values, which just makes it... It's not an ugly ducking, duckling story. It's Well, it, it is, but there's no swan in it. There's no happy in It's just ugly. It's, it's not an ugly duckling story. It's just an ugly story. Yeah. And the, the thing is, I, I used this joke later... The, the one I had about, um, I hear, like, kittens being strangled and children being murdered when I watch this movie. That's how unpleasant it is. But it really applies to this. This Watching this film, to me, was like watching somebody try to strangle a kitten. Where do you think that chick is? The, the one wearing the lion's or the know. leopard skin? I want to find out. I'm so curious. Where do you think that boy... I'd love to know where any of these people are. That'd be fascinating. Yeah, prob probably the witness protection program. <laughs> they, they're probably like they were just rushed out of the country. It's like, we're going to put you like in some tropical island somewhere because no one, no one needs to know. Like, we just got to hide you for your protection. And like the world's sloppiest edit, like the kid asks a question during the day and then they cut to night and she answers it. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, I, people were just like, well, it, it's hinting that it, she was talking over and then a transition to day. I was like, yeah, but this is filmmaking 101. I'm sure that's what the director intended, but that's not how it came off. So they get to the dance court. Oh, God, so 80s. Look at that pink bow. <laughs> She's she Minnie looks, Mouse. Yeah, she looks like a Christmas present bought at Victoria's Secret. I just, <laughs> this scene goes nowhere. He backs away from the boobs and then gets yeah. close again. Restuses! What do I do? Meanwhile, we cut back to the garbage pail kids who... Uh, oh, and that was the funny thing. There was, there was no relief in this movie. Like, when we watch a bad movie, sometimes they will cut away and it will be a cutaway to at least characters we like more. It's like, I hated her. I hated that kid. And then we cut back to the Garbage Pail Kids. I'm like, no, I hate them too. Cut back to the kid. And I was like, wait, I hate that kid. Cut back to the Garbage Pail It's a competition. Which one do you hate more? It's this vicious circle. Yeah, I'm sure Pepsi loved that ad, by the way. That's the first guy's ever We're the Pepsi generation. That's the logo when this movie was out. Yeah, that makes sense. Go crush the car with a truck. I... Can you imagine? I, I know somebody at Pepsi got fired for this. Somebody said, You greenlighted our product in this film. What the hell is wrong with you? And, uh, I don't know, was it Doritos? And, yeah. And all of the, there were a number of ad executives that got fired over this. That's all I can say. How about the ones for Garbage Pail Kids, the cards? I, I was fire like, the fuckers. Yeah. It was like, it was, the, like, I'm sure after this movie came out, it was just like, it was like a nuclear, it was like an ad executive holocaust. It was like, we lost many good executives that day over Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> 
I got so many requests for me too, that's one of the reasons I did it, because I was like, okay, I barely, like, I just barely remember the trailers, but then everyone kept asking me to do it, I just got a ton of emails, I'm just like, okay, well, I always sort of wanted to see it when I was a kid anyway, and it just... Man. <laughs> so angry were we over this film that we threatened not to take any more requests ever again for a short while. We're just like, no, we can't, because there's always the chance there'll be another Garbage Pail Kids or a sequel or something. What is... Why is he look like he's part of the Lonely Hearts Club band? What is going on here? No, it's very Michael Jackson. It's... And she just thinks it's fabulous! I'll make a fortune with it! I got this at band practice! How can the Garbage Pail Kids sew? Okay, how can they make clothes? They don't have, like, opposable thumbs or functioning digits. They're all these fat I don't even think they have five fingers. I mean, it makes no sense. And then, yeah, she... This grown woman tries to hit on a little boy. Yeah, it's of, just yeah, ewy. Yeah. It's ewy and weird on every level. There's not one piece of this film, not one second, that is not oozing with disgust.